Okay, in this video we're going to talk about saddle tilt and why it's important to comfort and performance. Um, saddle tilt is really, really important to comfort and I know this because um, we invested time and energy in changing actual rule of cycling with the UCI and, and that was about finding out in very extreme positions, I must admit, you know, in time trial positions, on the track and so on and so forth. That, there was an old rule that you said that you weren't allowed to tilt your saddle more than 2.5 degrees down. In effect, that meant everyone kept it completely level, uh, and that was producing real problems here at the front of the saddle, where people were really rotating forward with the pelvis, put on so much pressure here that they were getting real big issues. And the inability to tilt that saddle to match the tilt of the pelvis meant that they were effectively blocked. Imagine someone putting a wood block at the front of your saddle and saying, no, you can't come forward. And that's why we went and challenged that, and actually it was changed. And so what, what, why take notice of saddle tilt? Well, number one rule for me is your saddle nose, for me, my opinion, should never be up. It shouldn't look, look, look like an airplane taking off, all right? If it is, it's gonna really, again, block your pelvis back here, really make you stretch the handlebars. If your pelvis can't rotate, you're gonna to have to do all that flexion from your back. So if you're suffering from low back pain and on the bike and you notice your nose itself up, just try nudging that down, and that will it, it, quite often easy, share the workload between the pelvis and the back. Um, saddle tilt is also really important. I don't see any reason for ever being up. Most saddles are, these days are flat, um, and when they are flat, they're designed to be used flat or nose down. Now, you might need a bike fitter to decide where that sweet spot is. And if we look in here, if you start to tilt the saddle down, you can go as far as you want on a lot of saddle clamps, but there's a sweet spot. If you're in a time trial position or have a certain type of saddle that you want to get absolutely dialed in, you're going to need to tilt that saddle just enough so you can rotate your pelvis forward, your back feels good, you're comfortable on the saddle at the front but not too much that you feel like you're falling off the bike. So some people, when you get, get tilt too far, you feel like a fried egg on, an iron, uh, on a frying pan and you're sliding off. Things to notice with that is you'll feel more workload through your arms, maybe your hand numbness because you're dumping too much weight on the front of the bike trying to push back. It's trial and error to find that sweet spot, but you can use a little lever like this and look at it. Remember, if you're in a, say, a time job position or aggressive rope cycling position, it's this bit of the saddle you'll be sitting on. So this bit is important. And you can see for there, this is effectively a little bit nose up there. So what I would do with that is make sure if you're sitting there all the time on that level or nose down, if we measure the whole saddle, it looks like it's very tilted. So remember, measure the level where you're sitting. If you're here in a very endurance position, sitting on sit bones, that's where you need to make sure it's uh, you know that the tilt is effective and this is out of the way. Remember also, if you've got saddles like these ones where you have a curved saddle, again, even more important, looking at where the tilt is. Yeah? This saddle could be perfectly level, but it's effectively nose up. Now, some of them are designed like that because they sort of cup you in height. I find more people find a little bit of nose down is more comfortable, brings the sit bones to meet you. So, in summary, saddle's tilt is really important for performance because it enables the pelvis to rotate forward and get in a strong position, make you more aero. Big, big tip for me is that the saddle choice in aerodynamics and making you aero the bike, if you've got the wrong saddle, you will not be able to get aerodynamics. You won't be able to rotate forward, and saddle tilt is one of the most important components of that. If you're experiencing discomfort, also look at saddle tilt. See where you're at. Nose up, big no-no. Okay, so what's the ideal saddle tilt? Hard question, but in my opinion, anywhere between naught and four degrees down is where your saddle should be, and this is why. This is at naught degrees, and you can see that this person has um, a hot spot here, and this red line shows that they're sitting quite across the bike, quite asymmetrical. Look at the effect of nudging down to minus one, minus two, and minus three. See how the red is completely gone, and now at minus three degrees, the red line is at level here. This means they're really quite, quite symmetrical on the saddle, and this person felt much more comfortable. 